Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle, and in this video I want to share with you everything we know about Atlantic City update, the December 5th update, what is actually changing in the game, what do you need to know, do you want to be prepared? So I will try to compile it all in here into this one video, all the changes, and there are some amazing changes, some small changes, and some big changes, so all together. Check out those latest mini tabs from G Fuel. The cute little mini tabs, 15 servings each. If you cannot decide about your favorite flavor or you just don't need as much energy drinks, those are perfect. I myself use this opportunity to try a new flavor, blue ice, and I would never expect it, but I think it may be possibly my new favorite. If you choose to grab yours, don't forget to use code TURTLE for a discount. First, of course, there will be a bunch of new rewards related to the new season, new expeditions. So those rewards are coming. There is a lot of new stuff to unlock. As you can see, all the like roulette tables, slot machines. I have video showcasing all of it, including this special new item, this, because the weather to be always nice and there are different options to cause the weather to be bad and so on. So that I already showcased in separate videos from public test server. Just a quick reminder about the Atlantic City. We are not getting a story yet. We are only getting the first part, we are, which are two new expeditions. There is tax evasion and the most sen sensational game. And as expected, those are in different plays, different objectives, but very similar to what you are familiar with, which is the pit. It's the same idea. It's the same idea just inside Atlantic City with new rewards, new enemies, everything new. I have as well one bad news. We are all waiting for new armor set. Unfortunately, it has been delayed. It will not be coming with this part of update. It will be coming with next one. What else is new? If you will be choosing to start a new playthrough back from Vault 76, you are a new player or you are just starting a new character, you will have an option to choose to start as level 20 with predetermined loadout. So that's long awaited feature is coming. Next, there are changes to Gilliam Lumber Mill. So this location in here was taken over by responders. They will provide you with a new daily quest as well as one of them. June is a new vendor that will sell. First time ever it's happening but she will sell plans for weapon skins. There are only selected weapon skins, but she will sell it cheaply for cups. So that's something new, something cool. I hope you will see more of that in the future. It's awesome to be able to purchase skin for your weapon with cups. I hope more is to come as well. In this topic, as you can notice, there are some little new locations all around Vault 76. It's like a showcase of factions that you will be able to find in the game. There are all those little faction camps. For example, that's a new Brotherhood encampment. I don't know how they managed to already totally break a vertibird, but they did it. So that's Brotherhood encampment. Is there any more into it coming in the future? Possibly. We don't know just yet. They don't do much apart from being here, as for now. Next, very long awaited change that we are getting. You know how annoying it is when you kill a legendary three star enemy and it drops you a one star legendary loot? It's no more. Now, three star legendary enemies will drop free star loot but that's not everything on top of that like i have here a full set of union power armor currently it cannot drop from legendary enemies but from the next patch 
if you learn the plans, like I have them learned, legendary enemies will be able to drop for you. Power armor pieces for Union power armor and everything else that you learned, which is awesome. So freestyle legendary will drop freestyle loot and it will include everything that you learned, which is an awesome improvement. One of the biggest. If you are a melee build, you will be probably interested in the fact that melee food buffs has been reworked. So now you will only need one food to have full bonus to your melee damage. Only one food. The requirements to craft food will be higher, so we'll need more resources to craft your melee damage booster, but you only need one. They will no longer stack, like at this moment, but they will provide you with the same amount of bonus as you are getting now from stacking all the food buffs. So, way better this way. Incredible convenience. Just one melee buff for full damage bonus. It will go to over 200% if I would be on a team. I'm solo, so it's slightly lower. Let's see if I can join the team. I can, there is no one to join the team with, but it will go over 200 with strength in numbers and team bonus. So that's huge for all the melee builds. Another big change. Do you know how those fire enemies or the turrets can absolutely annihilate you to shreds in seconds? So now after this patch, let's see what happens. From December 5th, I can stand here. I can tank flame damage. I can tank laser turrets. Nothing can kill me. And there are two reasons for that. First, all damage have been rebalanced, so you are not being hit so hard like previously. That was probably an accident, how much damage those flamers and those lasers have been doing. But as well, what I did not expect, electric absorption is working with those laser turrets now. So laser turrets can kill me. So that's how it's happening. That's how I can tank it so well. The laser turrets finally count as a laser weapons and they can heal with electric absorption and recharge my core. So this is amazing fix. No longer instant death and no longer anyone will complain that electric absorption doesn't work because it works with enemies and with turrets now. It's even better than it was before. Now, I think I'm recording this video in the right time. Something is happening. The server is being shut down. I have 30 minutes. So one change I do not particularly like, maybe you will like it or not, but Giuseppe will no longer display plans that you purchase. I think this one is displayed by accident, but plan but that you purchase and learn will no longer show under Giuseppe inventory. And personally, I do not like it. I much more prefer to see all the list of plants I already know. I don't know why it's no longer allowed. No idea. Let me know if you have an idea. I, I honestly don't know why and I don't like it either. There is as well one change that I'm not sure if it's intentional or not. Oh, and about Unique Pistol, Circuit Breaker, it is confirmed that is coming with the next season. So we will get a Unique Pistol. How good it will be? That we don't know yet. But now the change that is either intentional or it's not intentional. We don't know. It's not in any patch notes, but in practice, at this moment, the bloodied is multiplicative. All the prefixes, to be honest. All the legendary prefixes on weapons, if it's bloodied, aristocrats, junkies, do pro provide multiplicative damage bonus, which is a huge difference to what we have now in game. So it's a huge buff to all those prefixes. Basically, every single one of those, aristocrats, junkies, or bloodied, will outclass anti-armor if this change remains. I don't know if that's confirmed, so just to be clear here, no idea if that's intentional or if that's just a public test server bug that will be fixed before the live version. It can go either way. But this is everything we know so far 
about the changes coming with next update. Are you ready for that? Are you happy with those changes or not? Keep in mind, that's a part one of Atlantic City update. Part two is most likely spring 2024. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.